Are you looking to improve your marketing efforts right now, your lead generation, to try and get more people to buy your product or service? Well, the purpose of marketing is to help facilitate the buying decision or purchase decision for your prospect. As the late Robert Colley has said, it's about entering the conversation that's already going on in the customer's mind. But what is that conversation? It's probably on any given day, not necessarily about your product or your service, but what's going on in the mind of our potential prospects at any given time? And it's probably two things. It's number one, probably a problem that they have that they don't want, or a result that they want that they don't have. These two things will be top of mind for most of our clients. And if we can attach our product, our service to that problem and solving it and to that result and creating it, now we've potentially got a prospect. The problem now in many instances, depending on the niche, is because of the saturation of marketing, the experts are saying can take anywhere from 80 to 100 touch points before somebody's going to look at your product. So we've potentially got to reach a lot of people a lot of times before we can turn that person into a potential client. Now check out our website for the conversion equation because that it can improve that number from 80 to 100 to 5 to 12. But it's still multiple times that we need to contact that customer. What do you do typically now if you miss a sale? If you don't convert a customer, are you doing anything? Is there any follow-up process? And that's what we're going to talk about just for a moment. Now, the interesting thing for most clients we work with, and you might be in the same situation, when you have a look at your website, what is your call to action? In, on most websites, it's typically a call, uh, send an email on the contact form, or perhaps reach out and book an assessment, book a call, book something like that. Now, not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's catering to 1% of buyers, the people that are ready to buy now. On that buyer's journey, there is a much broader percentage. In fact, up to 99% of people are just kind of looking, just trying to gather information, just trying to find out what they need in order to facilitate that decision to buy or not to buy until they get to that 1% of buyers who are ready to buy now. So if we're only catering that 1%, what's happening for all of the rest? So spend a few more minutes and I'm gonna take you inside a class that we did with our students and clients to show them how we were able to apply this to one specific industry. Maybe you can do it for yours. At any given moment, the number of prospects who are ready to buy right now represent no more than about 1% to 3% of all of those who are ultimately going to buy what you sell. You've got 97 and 90% of your prospects who are in the thinking about it and gathering information mode. But if the ads only offer is the typical one that most daycares put in their ads, call for a free consultation, then none of those future buyers are going to call. Why would they? If you're not ready to make a change, why on earth would you call now for a free consultation? You wouldn't. It makes zero sense. And that is the number one offer in these type of ads, the number one offer on most websites. Call now, book now, get in touch with me now. They're not ready to do that yet. They just want more information. So this is what we recommended to these daycares and what we do for most businesses at this point is providing what we call an informational offer. What if they offered everyone who calls a free report titled 10 things your daycare may not tell you. This report uncovers the 10 critical areas all parents must know and investigate before they place their kids with anyone offering daycare services. So this particular report compared the 17 most popular daycares in the area against each other in 10 specific areas, saving the parents their time effort and energy when making that all important decision as to which one will suit their child. But here's the really cool part of having this type of an offer. When the parents do call in or go online to request the free report, the daycare can now capture that prospect's contact information and proactively market to them from now until forever. Then the daycare could set up what we call a drip campaign to consistently and repetitiously follow up with these interested parents and keep providing them with the additional decision-making information until they finally become ready to buy. 
So it's a pretty cool concept, right? Now the example in the trainings of a daycare center, but we can literally do this for any business, including yours. In fact, we've dedicated a chapter on it in the book, How to Unlock the Profit in Your Business, and we'll show you step by step how you can do this. Now, why would you do it for your business? Remember, we reduce that to five to 12 touch points. That's not gonna work on your website if your only call to action is book a call. They're not ready to do that just yet. They're still gathering information. You continue five to 12 points. Here's the thing, 80%, 80% of all sales happen between that five to 12 touch points. And if you're not doing anything with them after that initial contact, you're missing potentially 80% of your sales opportunities. So grab a copy of the book, you can do this right away, or if you need a little bit of help, just reach out to me and we'll show you how you can do this for your business. Bye for now.